Reading for the Soul, welcome to another episode of the series that we are doing this year where I share my love for books with the world out there. And this month we are going to have a look at classics. Now as usual, I've got too many books and I want to tell you everything that's in the book, so just bear with me, I'll try to go through this fast. But the first one is a very old, tattered copy of J.I. Packer's Knowing God. It is a book that has utterly changed my life and I heard God tell me to read this book when I was climbing Kilimanjaro and but that's a whole different story and I don't want to go off on a tangent now but there's something I want to read to you because chapter one talks about the people who know their God and it talks out of Daniel chapter 11 and it quotes the following scripture the people who know their God shall stand firm and take action and so many times in my life, I realize that we as Christians do not stand firm and we do not take action. The next chapter, knowing and being known, just hit the ball. It was a six out of the park and I didn't want to continue. I just realized that it was for me one of the greatest revelations of my Christian walk, that far beyond the importance of knowing God is this challenge that I will be sure that he knows me. What next? The Ragamuffin Gospel, Brennan Manon. Oh my word, an absolute must read. And again, you can see my little marker because I want to read something to you from this book. He was, um, he fought in the Korean War, came home, um, studied to become a priest, and he often went off into the mountains, did all kinds of, of interesting retreats. And then there came a day, he was in his 60s, when he realized that he was an alcoholic and he went and he asked for help. And out of that, part of his life story is this book called The Ragamuffin Gospel. And there are so many moments in this book that I quote from Stoll today, but there is one specific one that I want to read to you. And it's a quote by Brennan Manning himself. The greatest single cause of atheism in the world today is Christians who acknowledge Jesus with their lips and walk out the door and deny him by their lifestyle. And that is what an unbelieving world simply finds unbelievable. And that quote alone, I think, just always gets me hmm, to focus not just on what I say, but how my lifestyle looks like when I leave my house and when I engage with others. They can't be classics without Elizabeth Elliot. Another firm favorite, we know she's the widow of Jim Elliot. They went off into the jungle, epic adventures. Her husband, one of the four men in 1961, I believe, that was murdered by the Orca Indians. Now she and her daughter, and Nate Sain's sister went to live with this very same tribe that killed family members and how they came to faith and just a beautiful story but this book really focuses on young women and their relationships with men with the opposite sex and how that just plays out in the lives of, of women. Passion and purity an absolute must. And then there is, ooh, still good ones to come, so bear with me. Ordering Your Private World is from Gordon, Gordon MacDonald. And I've got an old copy somewhere, and I gave it to my daughter um, a while ago. I felt God say, I must give her this book, and she became absolutely obsessed with it. She read it three times in one year, and then I don't think she lost the copy, but she wanted to pass it on, so this was on special a month ago. So we bought two copies, that we can also sew these copies. But Ordering Your Private World, I haven't read it in a while, so I plan to do this read still this year, coming up. So please be on the lookout. And it takes hands with secrets of the secret place. This a friend gave me. Heather, thank you for a wonderful gift. Secrets of the secret place packs the punch. So I can only read a chapter every two weeks because I have to meditate about it. It rolls around in my mind. I go back to it. I revisit it. And actually, I haven't read in it this month because the last one was a hard one and I'm still digesting the stake that is in this book. Richard Foster, the best for last. If you want to skip the others, no you can't. You can't, you can't. So, but Richard Foster, the spiritual disciplines. We have those um, three types of disciplines and he talks about 
um, the corporate disciplines and then the personal disciplines which he calls inward disciplines and the outward disciplines. Study meditation examples of inward disciplines, simplicity an example of an outward discipline. And once we've mastered these, I want to tell you a whole new level of discipleship will enter your lifestyle. These, of course, he's a Quaker and he researched the habits of the early Christians in the first 300 years of the birth of the church. So from Acts 300 years onwards, and this phenomenal classic will change your life. May you have happy reading. May you rediscover old and new classics because every day we have those gems on our bookshelves and in our bookstores. So keep on searching and keep on looking and happy reading. Finding Joy is available in Afrikaans and English at kumbooks or amazon.com.